What's going on YouTube? It's Pelfrey, and this is the Red Sea Reefer 250. Approximately 60 to 65-ish gallons, I would guess. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm a little under the weather. But um, I ran a full test panel on uh, the tank, and, you know, surprisingly or unsurprisingly, the ALK has held steady at 8.5, 8.6. Finally tested magnesium and calcium for the first time, and I can't tell you how long. Calcium was at 390, magnesium was at 1400. I tested high and low range um, nitrates, came back zero. So I wanted to test this concoction here that I have made up that is KNO3, so nitrates do not drink. And <clears throat> as soon as I dropped the third scoop into the vial here, uh, I mentioned something to Scurvy's Reef in a private message. I said this stuff turned the same color as the wine that you get at church. I mean, so I know that my nitrate's good. I probably need to get a doser for this and just dose a little bit a day. But this system has always been like this where I've always fought nitrate issues. I am feeding more. I'm feeding frozen foods more and the auto feeders uh, feeding twice a day. And as far as, you know, phosphate's concerned, they were point. 077 and again if my phosphates drop low then i just throw some reefoids in the tank and that seems to alleviate any of those concerns so i did test alkalinity with the hannah checker i tested uh phosphorus phosphates with the hannah checker uh high and low uh range nitrates and this i did a high range nitrate test kit here that's done with the red sea that i just bought and the magnesium and calcium are also red sea test kits that are fixing to expire so what would you do? I've, it's the first time I've tested uh, calcium and magnesium in six, eight months, maybe a year. Um, you know, it's crossed my mind. If I get another test kit, I'll probably go with the Salifert um, because if you do the Red Sea, uh, maybe you can get them separately, but I don't need the alkalinity because I'm using the Hanna for alkalinity. But a crazy thought crossed my mind. And instead of buying new um, test kits, would it be better for me to send off like a Triton test every quarter? And that would give me my baseline of calcium and magnesium as long as well as the other parameters that I can test pretty easily. So what would you do? Um, obviously I'm trying to get this tank, you know, SPS dominated. Um, so, you know, you're probably going to say, pick up your own test kits, stop being lazy and do your water testing. And Hey, if that's how you feel, then leave it below. I did just notice with the whites on there's some, some little algae growing there and we definitely have some algae growing up there which is nothing new spoke about the rock work previously and i love this this carib sea work so that's one rock that's another rock that's a rock and that's a rock and there's all kinds of crevices and tunnels and the like for the fish versus this side right here which does have a tunnel but i mean it's it's deep up in there so I may see if I can get another 20 pounds of this and escape the other side of the tank uh, with it. <clears throat> but I'm very excited with where we're going. Um, and I mentioned this earlier, but you know, about the rock again. The only piece that I had to take out was the shelf piece. All the other pieces are still in the tank here. And these pieces did cycle in a bucket and one of them was in the sump for a while. The refugium is, is thriving. Uh, matter of fact, since I'm considering going the uh, Triton method, I've let it just grow substantially, so much so that it'll die off a little bit because that's what Triton uh, recommends because at that point, the Catomorpha will um, release some of the uh, nutrients from it once it's dead. So let's run out here real quick. <coughs> Again, excuse me, I'm under the weather. As you can see, I just slammed the door. This was the shelf rock piece that was in the tank. And it was glued there at the bottom. And uh, it weathered great. It just didn't have any place to put it in the tank since I got the life rock in there. So it, that's a Marco piece, by the way. And I did hammer and chisel off the base plate that was glued to it. But it just wasn't what I was going for in my tank, the life rock. It's incredible. It's incredible stuff. <laughs> uh, where am I going? Going back to the tank. <clears throat> I am dosing 
chuck washer. So it's about time to change that. This is some micro Bacter, Bacter 7, which I don't know why it's down there. I haven't dosed it in a long time, but I do need to switch this hose over here. If you haven't paid attention, that's a 3D mount for the Camor. So it is mounted upside down with the head facing the right way. Thrilled and pumped about that. I'm gonna kind of keep this cleaned out because I'm gonna pull this out, give this a wash, hook the um, calc washer line up here so that I can get to pumping good calc washer into the tank. So yeah, I'm sure I could re-trim uh, the refugium there and uh, get back some of the nutrients. But again, this tank has never, 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 I've always fought nitrates in this tank. And I do have zipper racks in the tank and that's how I cycled the new rock. And I have Ciparex rods in the overflow. The DD Aquarium screen top has been absolutely, absolutely amazing. Um, <clears throat> I haven't glued any of these pieces together yet because I'm not sure yet. Everything transferred great. And the one thing that I was concerned about, and I don't know if you can see it or not, but there is an emerald crab there. And I was concerned that he would have been stuck some of the rock that was taken out of the tank, but that was not the case. He is thriving in the tank. And as far as gluing the pieces together, all I plan on doing is draining the tank down to like right here, slapping some super glue on there. Um, I think I'm gonna leave it like this. I wanted to leave the rockscape like this for a while so that I could see if I actually liked it or not. But I'm pretty sure I do like how it is. So I'm just gonna leave it like that, I think. I don't think I'm gonna fool around with it anymore. I'm pretty happy with it. And again, I think I wanna see if I can get another 20 pounds to cycle and replace this side over here because it's just it's just a mound. Whereas on this, you actually have some, some great, great options. Since my nitrates have always been zero, and I know that this right here is great, and please don't do what I do. But I've done this a couple times and my nitrates still test out zero. But it's like three milliliters. It's probably like five milliliters. Let's do a little bit more. All right, that's probably like, we'll say for the sake of me not having a clue, that's seven to 10 milliliters of nitrates added to the system. And I added it to this section because I definitely want it to go up the return pump and into the system and ultimately it is gonna, gonna end up down here in the Chato uh, section. But for now, you know, it is what it is. And I just realized I need to refill this. Man, what I always realize whenever I'm recording videos. This is for bubble scrubbing. I actually got it turned off. But yeah, I'm about to pull this off. And man, this Eheim auto feeder has been amazing for like 30 bucks, I think it was on Amazon. <laughs> I don't even hear it run and it's been amazing. So I am going to pull it off and I have some food somewhere up here hidden. It's actually, it's a mixture of different foods. You can see there's different colors in there. So I'm going to add that to the auto feeder and get the auto feeder back online. Just like that. I mean, it literally took a minute. I went ahead and pulled the whole auto feeder off. I just loosened this nut back here. <laughs> pulled it off so I didn't spill anything into the tank. And I've got it refilled again. And you can see, it's hard to see, but there are a mixture of pellets inside of there. Just like that, another video is gonna wrap up. And I actually don't wanna get too close to the tank because there are some new additions in here and we are heavy on the blues. So maybe if you zoom in, uh, you can maybe pick and see what's going on new with the tank but yes stay tuned because we do have some new additions into the red sea reefer 250 as always i appreciate you following along be sure to check out the website at pelfrey.net check me out on instagram at pelfrey's reef p-e-l-p-h-r-e-y-s-r-e-e-f -E -E all one word and uh you know if you feel like subscribing subscribe uh hit the bell notification if you want to I don't think I say that very often. I think I pretty much give a shout out to the website and Instagram. So yeah, again, stay tuned because I think everybody's gonna like the direction that we're going now. 
Later.